TT's aggregator gives you the ability to combine the liquidity of two or more instruments across multiple exchanges into a single tradable synthetic instrument. The aggregator widget makes it easy to build and customize these instruments by allowing you to access a variety of instruments and exchanges, as well as providing a range of options to customize the routing of your orders. In this video, we'll learn how to build and launch an aggregated instrument. We create aggregated instruments by launching the aggregator widget. From here, we can access our aggregated instruments as well as create new ones. Let's create an aggregated instrument for the Nikkei Index. After clicking Create, we can name our instrument Aggregated Nikkei and assign it a color indicator of blue. Let's select our instruments by typing the exchange OSE into the first leg, pressing Tab, and then typing NK225 and selecting the June 16 contract. We'll give it an alias of OSE. Next, we'll enter NIY to find the Nikkei June 16 contract on CME and give this leg an alias of CME. Finally, we'll add a third leg by clicking the plus sign and search SGX for the NK June 16 contract. We're going to leave our time and force as day orders and have aggregator rebalance once a millisecond. We'll also stop all orders if an exchange goes down instead of rerouting to an available exchange. Our taking settings are applied when our order crosses the market. When liquidity is available, rank ratio will start by filling at our first leg before going to the second, and so on. We can set a custom ratio using the split ratio option, or we can use the size ratio option to route a larger proportion of orders to the exchange with the most orders at the best price. For this example, we would prefer our orders be filled on OSE first, so we'll go with rank ratio. Our joining settings allocate our orders between the legs at our target price when there is no available liquidity. This can be done by applying a split ratio and entering a ratio manually, or by using estimated positioning Q, or EPIQ, which routes a larger proportion of orders to markets with a smaller number of orders in order to gain a better position. We want to make markets in all three legs, but we'll weigh our routing more towards the legs that contain more volume by setting a split ratio of 3, 2, and 1. Since our instruments are of similar size, we will leave our ratios at 1. Our instruments also trade at similar prices, so we do not need to apply a price offset. They also use the same pricing precision, so we don't need to weigh the prices by adding a multiplier and can keep these at 1. We will leave rebalancing at 100%, allowing aggregator to move up to 100% of our original order into markets with available liquidity. Now, with our settings in place, we click Save. Aggregator allows us to launch our aggregated instrument using a number of widget combinations. Let's launch our instrument in a single MD trader. We can see the markets for the individual legs by right-clicking into Settings and checking the box for Show Aggregator Leg Markets. We now have an MD Trader widget displaying the bids and asks of the aggregated instrument, as well as for each leg that comprises the aggregated instrument labeled at the top with the alias that we defined during setup. Clicking in an individual leg's bid or ask column enters an order for just that specific instrument, whereas clicking in the aggregated bids or ask column enters a color-coded order for the aggregated instruments. Since we've placed our 60 lot aggregated order off the market, we can see that our joining preferences have been applied and that our order has been split between the legs of the aggregated instrument at a 3 2 1 ratio with 30 contracts on OSE, 20 contracts on CME, and 10 contracts on SGX. As you can see, Aggregator gives you the ability to create an aggregated instrument and therefore access greater liquidity. It also allows you to customize and automate the routing of orders on these instruments, optimizing your trade execution. For more information, visit our website at tradingtechnologies.com.